Operation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good evening. You are tuning in to the 55th Starlink mission set to launch from launch complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. Weather is also looking good and range are both green for liftoff. So we are proceeding with a T0 at 10.14 p.m. Eastern time. Now let's follow along as Falcon 9 prepares to launch another 52 Starlink satellites into space. Now you can see on your screen the clamp arms on that transporter erector are opening up. The transporter erector is that structure next to the vehicle. It will start to retract here shortly. And it's very slow and slight, but you can see it moving away from the vehicle there. The TE retracts away from the vehicle even more at liftoff, and that clears the way for Falcon 9 as it Stage lifts one, off. Stage 1, load complete. And a good call out there with stage one locks load complete. Next event coming up will be locks load completion on stage two around the T minus two minute mark. We're about 30 seconds away from locks load completion on second stage. Once that concludes, the Falcon 9 vehicle will be fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And there's that call out. Fuel loading is now complete on Falcon 9. Today marks the third flight for the first stage that you see on the screen. And as usual, we will be attempting to recover it on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas today. And if successful, it will mark our 35th first stage landing. Launch close out has started. 35th first stage landing just this year. Now, as a quick update, Starlink is now available in 37 countries around the world. We also wanted to share a quick update from Coconino County in northern Arizona, which is leading the effort to bring Starlink to Navajo Nation students. Last year, we shared that about 45 homes were using beta, the beta version of Starlink. And since then, the county identified... The county identified more students with inadequate or no Starlink, no internet connection, and about 150 homes in the area are now connected LD, and using the service. And we had a great call out. LD is go for launch, so let's watch as the Falcon 9 vehicle carries the Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds.
Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39A. Normal avionics power and telemetry. And we are throttling down those engines in preparation for max Q, that is maximum dynamic pressure. Falcon is now supersonic. A great call out that Falcon is now supersonic. That means that it is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And we've also passed through Max Q. We're just about a minute away from a few events happening back to back. That Start is event back, chill. Miko or main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES one or main or second stage engine start one. Falcon trajectory nominal. Main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of the M1D engines on the first stage, and that helps slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Once the first and second stages separate from each other, stage one will make its way back to Earth for landing and stage two will continue on its journey. And just a few seconds after SES-1, we will have fairing deploy as well. We're just a few seconds away from those few events happening back to back. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. I'm back in mission. And there you just saw Miko, our main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1 on your right-hand screen with that MVAC engine now glowing bright red. On your left-hand screen is a view of the first stage as it makes its way back down to Earth. And we also did see confirmation of the deploy of the fairing halves. Now this mission marks not only the third flight for the first stage booster, but also the third flight for each of the fairing halves that you saw separate from the second stage. Both stages are on nominal trajectories. So far, everything is looking good for both vehicles on nominal trajectories. We are just a couple of minutes away from the a signal, Bermuda. Just a couple minutes away from the entry burn on the first stage. That is the next step for first stage as it makes its way back down to our landing zone today is a shortfall of gravitas. The entry burn is where three of the nine M1D engines reignite and helps to slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And what you're seeing on your screen is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Still looking good on nominal trajectory. Today we are sending 52 Starlink satellites to LEO or low Earth orbit. And as a reminder, this is our 55th overall Starlink mission and 21st Starlink mission just this year.
just about a minute away from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. Something pretty cool to note is that after the entry burn, the atmosphere scrubs most of the velocity on the first stage, so it really only needs the entry burn and just a few seconds before landing a single engine burn, which is the landing burn, that's that center E9 engine. That's powerful enough to slow the stage down in order to touch down on its landing zone. Again, today is a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. And we did hear that call out for entry burn beginning on the first stage. There you could see it live on your left hand screen. Again, this is three of the nine M1D engines reigniting. It should last about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And that concludes the entry burn for the first stage. Stage one trajectory nominal. Everything's still looking good for the trajectory of the first stage as you heard that call out. Now we're just about 45 seconds or so away from the landing burn on H2 the first stage. Yes, it's safe. And with the landing burn coming up, we will also have SECO or second engine cutoff one on the second stage around the, stage same, one, around the same time as landing of stage one. So you may hear those call outs happening at the same time. Stage two terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And we heard that call out for stage one landing burn. There you could see on your left hand screen, on your right hand screen is a short fall of Gravitas. Let's watch as Falcon 9 attempts to land on our drone ship today. Stage one landing light deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And great news, you can see stage one has touched down. This marks the 135th landing of our orbital class rocket. Deploy orbit. Also heard that SECO one and a nominal deployment, orbital deployment. Acquisition of signal, New Finland. Expected loss of signal, Cape. So as you heard, we did have a good second engine cutoff. So stage two is now carrying 52 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. With confirmation of second stage engine cutoff, we are going to end the webcast for today. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy and we'll see you next time. Great shots of the uh, dual engine static fire of Ship 24 from earlier today. But uh, that'll do it for us tonight. Uh, I've been Ian Atkinson, your host. I've been joined by Alex, one of our Falcon 9 experts. Thanks for joining, Alex. <laughs> Thank you for having me, as always. And, you know, it's been amazing today with all the activity.